Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Anna Dornhaus, and I'm your instructor for the new course, Ecology 250, How Science Works. I want to start by introducing myself and just saying a little bit about who I am. And then I'll talk about what the course is and what you will hopefully learn and a little bit about the structure of the course. Um, so here's a picture of me. Um, I've been at the U of A since 2005. Um, at the U of A, like most professors, I do research and teaching. My research is on collective organization and social insects, um, like the bumblebees you see here and the ants. And my teaching is mostly on animal behavior, but also on how science works and modeling. And you can see on the picture uh, a lot of people that are my graduate students or postdocs that work in my lab. So another part of my teaching is to mentor junior scientists in their science careers. Um, I'm also a person outside of work. So just to give you a little glimpse into that, I really like Legos. Uh, and I really like pets. These are two of my pet rats. Um, to tell you a little bit more about my professional life, I really, um, in the research, I'm interested in how individuals interact to produce complex collective behaviors. So I'm interested in how, in a bumblebee or ant colony, how all the different individuals in that colony interact to produce adaptive behavior at the colony level. But what I find important to say is that I feel that research and science generally is really a, an endeavor that all humans share. And that um, what I like about it is that it really reveals the beauty, not only in nature, but also that there is a beauty in knowing and understanding how the world works. And that beauty, not only in nature, but in understanding how the world works is something that I really try to convey in my teaching. Um, and here on the picture, you can also see that I do a lot of outreach with elementary schools in Tucson, and so I think even little kids can appreciate both um, natural beauty, even in the cockroaches that the little girl is holding, and the beauty of actually understanding something. Now, in this course, I'm hoping to convey that interest and that fascination with understanding how something works. Uh, here's a visual version of our syllabus that's, that you can also find on D2L, and I'm going to walk you through the different parts of it. So overall, the purpose of this class, Ecology, How Science Works, is to get you the tools to learn the best information our civilization has to offer on a question that you care about. So you get to pick a question that you want information on, and then we will give you the tools to get the answer to that question and to evaluate how good the information is that we have. So the point here is to understand that true understanding is both beautiful and useful um, that humanity has accumulated a lot of information, but most people don't actually have the tools to access it. So those tools are what this course focuses on. And a lot of people don't appreciate how many things are still unknown. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty in our knowledge. There are a lot of gaps. And so I also want you to appreciate that. So like I said, the focus of the course will be to give you the tools to benefit from the knowledge we have. The main goal of the course in terms of um, outcomes is going to be a final project. That final project has several puzzle pieces. You'll find a question you're interested in. You'll find resources. Uh, you'll identify and read original scientific papers about that topic. And you'll analyze how strong the evidence is for the particular answer uh, that may be presented. And you and your final project will conclude from all these references what the overall answer is. Um, the entire class, so our entire course period, will work towards this tangible outcome. Um, and the course is structured. We have seven and a half weeks, of course. And um, those seven and a half weeks are divided up into 23 units. On D2L, you will see what the topics and assignments for each unit are. The purpose of each unit is really to walk you towards finishing that final project. So each unit contributes just a little bit to um, the skills and tools that you need to complete your final project. Uh, the biggest tool you need is to be able to evaluate the strength of evidence. So a lot of what we're going to talk about is how can you assess how good a particular information resource is. On the way, we'll talk a little bit about statistics, but this is not a math class, so we'll stay um, pretty simple with that. But you'll learn what statistics is really for and, in general, how it works. And we'll also do a little nature experiment, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, one important point that I want to make about the class is that it's very important to talk with your peers. Um, learning happens when you process information and not just passively hear it. 
And one of the best ways to do that is to talk the information over with other students, uh, with peers in the class, uh, with your instructors, or with other people. So uh, we're going to use Slack as a medium to um, have discussions about, over different topics of the course. And we have a whole teaching team. So I'm Anna Dornhaus, the main instructor. There's a TA, Stefan Popp, and there are going to be three preceptors, uh, Nicole, Alyssa, and Melody. And all of us are here to help you master the skills that this course is about. So please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us with help with the course. And that's it for today. I will see you next time. Thank you.